This man lived with his murdered girlfriend's body for days before being arrested. The crazy thing is he was completely innocent. Let's talk about the tragic case of Ryan Waller. On Christmas Day 2006 in Arizona, Ryan Waller and then his girlfriend Heather Kwam were expected to turn up to Ryan's parents' house for Christmas dinner. As the hours passed by without any word from the couple, they began to get concerned for their safety. So Ryan's dad decided he would call the police and ask them if they would be able to do a wellness check on the couple as it was quite strange to have not heard anything from them on Christmas Day of all days. Shortly after, police arrived to the house where they found Heather dead on the sofa from a gunshot wound to the head and Ryan was alive living inside the home where his girlfriend had been dead for the last 48 hours. He had a really bad black eye as if he had been punched several times in the face with some force. The officers on scene were quick to assume this was some kind of domestic fight gone way too far with Ryan's injuries being the result of Heather defending herself before being killed so without any hesitation they swiftly put Ryan in the back of their car before examining the crime scene further unable to find the murder weapon. Medics were called in to examine Heather to try and figure out what had happened to her along with the time of death while Ryan was left waiting in the car for some time without anyone taking a second to examine his black eye to understand what caused it. After examining the scene, the police then took Ryan into the station where they took 43 different photos of his injuries before starting the interrogation. From the very beginning of Ryan arriving at the police station, he wasn't giving the detectives any answers that made sense and so when he tried to make attempts to clear his name the officers didn't believe him as he was acting so strangely and obviously the crime scene made it look like there was no way he was an innocent man. Amongst all the random things he was saying, he did try and tell the officer that he was shot in the eye, to which the officer thought was the most ridiculous attempt of an explanation and promptly told Ryan that if that was true he wouldn't be sat there, he would be dead. Throughout this strange interview, Ryan also kept insisting he was tired and just wanted to go back home to bed as well as putting his feet on the table to which the officer told him he wasn't going anywhere and to keep his feet down. It's safe to say this wasn't normal behavior for someone guilty or innocent to be due in Iowa police interrogation room. What's the um, highest grade you went through school? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what the highest grade you went through? Eighth? Did you, eighth grade? Did you graduate? Yeah. Did you, do you have a GED? I don't know. Do you have a girlfriend? Mm. Mm -mm. No? You know, you know a girl named Heather? Mm-hmm. You know Heather's last name? Mm-hmm. What is Heather's last name? Um, the one that lives there right now? I guess, I don't know. If her name's Heather, what's her last name? Um, I don't know which name she's trying to use as her last one. She's trying to have a real last as her nickname, so I don't know. What nickname does she go by? She probably wants the last name, Kaiman. Kaiman? How would you spell that? With a K or a C? K. Keep going? I don't know. How old is Heather? 16 or 17. Is she a white girl? Yeah. How did you meet Heather? I've known her since school. Okay. I don't know. You just known her from school? She used to be a business name. I don't know. She used to be do a business name? She used to be in my book named with business name. Oh, okay. She used to be in the class, your business class? Mm-hmm. All right. What happened to your face? I don't know. You told the officer just a few minutes ago that someone hit you. Do you remember who hit you? Um, I don't know. I think it was Heather. Why would Heather hit you? I don't know. It was an accident. I forgot why. What was an accident? Heather's last name? No. What was an accident? Heather hitting me. What did she hit you with? Her hand and the eye. Did you guys have an argument? Not really, no. Not really? Uh-uh. What happened for her to hit you in the eye like that? 
She just hit me in an accident. She was giving Christina a head. She was what? She was helping Christina with her hair or something. I don't know. Who's Christina? She's on the couch. Christina's on the couch? What's Christina's last name? I don't know. What does she look like? I really don't know. You don't know? Uh-uh. I really don't. What color hair does she have? Brown. Is it long? Just average. How old is Christina? 20 maybe? I don't know. Do you know Alicia? Mm -mm. You don't know Alicia? Mm -mm. She lives at your house? You know a guy named Eric? Mm -hmm. What's Eric's last name? He's trying to pay me back. Green something. His last name is Green something? Where's Eric right now? I don't know. Do you have his phone number? I really don't. He doesn't have one. Okay. Do you have Heather's phone number? Uh. You don't know? Mm hmm. How about Christina? Mm hmm. You don't have anybody's phone number? Mm. What happened last night? I don't know. You don't know? I really don't. I just want to go to sleep and go to sleep. Oh. Well, you remember Heather hitting you in the eye, right? But I don't remember after that because I just went to lay down and try to go to sleep. All right. I don't know what anybody was doing. I really don't. Who was in the house when you went to sleep? Christina and Heather. Christina and Heather. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Christina was on the couch? Heather was. Heather was on the couch. You told me Christina was on the couch just a minute ago. I don't know, man. I really don't. I really don't. You just don't know? I really don't, man. Or you don't want to tell me? I really don't know, man. I really don't. I just want to go and go to sleep, man. Ryan, you're not going to go anywhere. What happened in your house last night? Mm -mm. Alright, what happened? Hmm? I don't know what happened. You're all beat up. Right? So tell me what happened. I don't know. I just want to go to sleep, man. That's it. Remember what happened to your nose? There's a big chunk out of your nose. I don't know. Someone grab you? Were you fighting with somebody? No, I need to go. I need to go back to sleep, man. I'm just tired, man. That's it. Didn't even do anything. I just want to go to sleep. You remember what time this happened? Your eye? Like one? Or maybe earlier? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you know Eric's girlfriend? Yeah. What's her name? Heather. Eric's girlfriend's Heather? Mm -hmm. you're, you're saying that's Eric's girlfriend? Mm -mm. Or your girlfriend? Heather? Yeah. Mine. Heather's your girlfriend. Alright. Was Heather over last night? Mm -hmm. Alright. And Heather did this to you? What? Your eye. Uh uh. Okay, who did that to you? Alicia. Alicia did that to you now. Mm -hmm. I swear. I'm not even lying, I swear. Okay. Why would Alicia do this to you? Why? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Were you mad at Alicia? No, I don't know why. I don't know why. She probably hit it on something. I don't know. She hit what on something? I don't know. I don't know, man. Hey, Ryan? Huh? There's a dead girl in your living room. She's dead? Yes. Heather? I don't know. I want to know what happened in your house last night. The girl on the couch is dead? I don't know. If she's on the couch, she's dead.
The interview went on for quite some time with Ryan not able to put many helpful sentences together, but eventually he did mention some incredibly interesting things such as his former roommate Richie Carver shooting him in the eye, but this was ignored amongst many of the other things he was coming out with such as Heather being Richie's sister which wasn't the truth. Well these people came over, Richie and his dad, with shooting arrow bow and darts. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They hit me and her with those. That's it. And Heather wasn't there. And Eric wasn't there. It was just me and Heather. What was there? You and Heather were there. And then what happened? And that's it. Richie and his dad tried to break in through the back. Richie and dad? His dad? Mm-hmm. Who's Richie? I don't know. Well, you obviously know him. You know his name by he Richie. He used to live there. Was he a roommate of yours? He used to be. And they... They hit you and... They hit you? Yeah. Now it's Richie that hit you? Not Heather? No, Richie and his dad. Richie and his dad. They hit you? Yes. Why? Because they're trying to get their stuff. I don't know why. And they had some kind of... Bow and arrows? Mm-hmm. They each had two revolvers and they didn't let off any shells. Okay, you just said they had bow and arrows. Now they have revolvers? That's what I meant. They had revolvers. They have revolvers? Yes. And then what happened? And then they shot us with those. They shot both of you? Yeah. Where'd they shoot you at? I got shot in the eye. You I got think. shot in the eye? I think so. With a revolver? I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. Then what happened? I don't know. You don't know a lot, Ryan. I don't, man. I really don't. Did you shoot Heather? Mm-mm. I heard you have a lot of guns in your house. Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. Well, you know we're going to look. Mm-hmm. Ryan, why don't you tell me what really happened there? Because I don't believe... I really don't know, man. I really don't. I don't know. I can tell you anything, I swear. Well, I want you to tell me the truth. That's all I want Richie from you. and his dad came there. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why, but they put me in sleeping hold, and like they put me in sleeping hold with the arrows and shit. Like I lived through the sh that crap. Okay, they they put you in a sleeping hold. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I what, really what? don't. I don't know, man. You're telling me they put you in a sleeping hold. What is a sleeping hold? I don't know. Well, explain it. I'm hearing it. It's coming out of your mouth. Explain that to me. What's a sleeping hole? I really don't know, man. I really don't. I really don't know. Okay. You're telling me... You're, you're all over the board here, number one. You're saying bows and arrows. You're saying revolvers. And you're saying some other thing. And they, you're saying they shot you in the eye. Okay. They shot you with a revolver in your eye. Yes. And that's Is it? it a BB gun? No, it was a real gun, man. It was just a if revolver. They shot you in the eye with a revolver. You wouldn't be talking to me right now. How do you know? It was most likely you be dead. That's what I thought too, man. I really don't know. Okay. I really don't know, and I just want to go back to sleep and try to go back to bed. You're not going back to bed, okay? That's not going to happen. All right, but what happened, man? What do I got to do? Just tell me what I got to do. All right, get your feet off my chair, is number one. Number two, what happened to Heather? I don't know, man. I really don't You're know. You're now saying Richie and his dad shot Heather. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. And they shot her with a revolver. Yes. And did not use any gun. They came with those guns. Mm -mm. And they came through the where? They were breaking through in? Through the back. Through the back? By your door or is there another door? Through the back door. Through the back door? Is that off the kitchen? Mm-hmm. 
And why would they come on Christmas Day? I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Did, did they break in or did you let them in? I let them in. And then what happened? And they started shooting up the house. With a gun? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what happened? That's it. What happened to Heather? Heather got shot. Where did she get shot? Inside the face once. She got shot inside of the face? Mm-hmm. How close, how close were you to her when she got shot in the face? It was after I got shot, so I didn't even hear anything. So you got shot first? Mm-hmm. And what happened? Did you fall to the ground? Yeah, I was trying to get up and shit, and I couldn't. I don't okay. know. And then she got shot? Mm-hmm. What, 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 what did you do? Nothing. Did you call 911? Uh-uh. Did you see if she was alive? She was sleeping still, and that's it. I just let her sleep. She got shot in the side of the face, and you let her sleep? Yes. This does not make sense, Ryan. I know. I didn't mean to, man. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was passing out. That's because I got shot wrong once, too, and I was going to pass out. Okay, this is now, not before. I don't know. You're saying right now you've been shot? Yes. In the eye? Yes. With the revolver? Yes. All right. Ryan, you need to start telling me the truth because your story doesn't make sense. I'm trying, man. I don't know. Just ask me anything and I'll tell you the truth. Just ask me. Well, I'm trying to and you're not even coming close to the truth. Go ahead, ask me. What happened with you and Heather last night? Her dad came and shot the house. And shot her? Mm-hmm. Her dad. Now, Richie is her dad? Mm -hmm. Or Richie's her brother? Yeah, her dad. Her dad shot her? Mm-hmm. All right. And then leaves? Mm-hmm. And what did you do? I tried to go back to sleep. After you've been shot? Mm -hmm. In the eye? Mm -hmm. You didn't know enough to call 911? Mm-mm. Why did you call 911? I was just trying to go to sleep. That's it. You just saw Richie's and his dad shoot your girlfriend, and you just felt like you needed to go to sleep? Something like that. I don't know, man. I really don't. Ryan, look at me. Ryan. Yes. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Why did you shoot Heather, Ryan? I didn't shoot Heather. She was already shot once by her brother, I swear. Richie. Yes. Richie shot his own sister. Yes, I swear. That's it. Sit down. Not me. And you've been shot in the eye. Yes. That's it. Put your feet up my table, please. My feet hurt, man. I don't know why. Get them off my table. So at this point, the detectives still were not buying his story, which to them seemed to be an attempt to get away with the girlfriend's murder. Six minutes, eight hours after the police first found Ryan and Heather, the officer finally decides to entertain Ryan's story of being shot in the eye. He slowly moves in closer to Ryan to take a closer look at his injuries, and this is where his demeanor completely changed from cold, hard-nosed detective to caring and concerned as he began to realize Ryan had actually been shot in the eye and quickly ran out the room to call for a medic before uncuffing him and finally treating him like a victim instead of their primary suspect. Alright. Well, if you've seen your face and the way you're doing things, it just it doesn't make sense right now, okay? We're just going to make sure you're okay. I can't go back to bed, man. Well, that's the problem. If you have some kind of head injury, you shouldn't be sleeping, okay? Well, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. There you go. I think I only got shot once in the eyeball. And then you just wanted to go to sleep? Yeah. Huh? I think you're not going to believe this one. I can't believe it either. You're right. I've already heard the story. I can't believe it. This is just my observations that this might be an entrance, this might be an exit, this might be into his eye. And he's acting... Uh, like he has a serious head injury, which would make sense. Were there guns around? This kid Eric did it. I don't know how he did it exactly. I might have been shot. I don't know. I really don't know. Are you waiting on to do more dance? I don't know. It looks like it went right through, huh? Yeah, it might have. I don't know. What bike? Your ride's here. Let's check it out. Yeah, he's good.
Ryan was rushed to surgery where some reports say he lost both his eyes, others say just the left eye as well a large part of his brain which left him with severe brain damage after it was confirmed he was shot in the face twice leaving him with four different holes in his face. What had actually happened that night ended up being one of the saddest stories you will ever hear. A month before the shootings, Richie was living with Ryan and Heather just as a roommate but started to cross the line by repeatedly flirting with Heather who told Ryan who understandably is furious at Richie and after a heated altercation Richie was then kicked out of the couple's home. This enraged and embarrassed Richie so much that he along with his father Larry began plotting to take revenge on the couple. So on December 23rd Richie and Larry were armed and began approaching the back door of Ryan and Heather's home which was connected to the kitchen and had slidable glass doors. Ryan managed to spot them before they got to the doors to open them but with 2v1 they managed to slide the door open slightly before Richie poked his gun through the gap and fired two shots into Ryan's face. The first bullet went in one side of his nose, out the other side then back in through his eye before getting stuck inside his brain along with six pieces of bone from his skull that had also gone into his brain. The second bullet hit the side of head, breaking off parts of his skull onto the floor. And surprising Ryan crumbled to floor once this happened and the two attackers assuming he was dead stepped over his body by the door and went straight over to Heather who was sat on the couch terrified and too afraid to run and without any hesitation Richie walked up to her and put the gun to her head before firing and killing her with a single gunshot wound. The two attackers then rummaged through the house to see what they could steal before fleeing the crime scene. A few hours after the shooting, Ryan woke up as he had somehow only been knocked unconscious from the bullets but was now suffering from severe brain damage so didn't really remember exactly what had happened to him but he looked over to see Heather lying on the couch and assumed she was sleeping so feeling incredibly tired. He simply went to his bedroom and fell asleep. He then woke up on the 24th and pretty much spent the day walking around his house with no real purpose thinking the whole time that Heather was still just fast asleep on the couch. When night time came, he went back to bed again before waking up on Christmas Day and repeating the same thing of mindlessly walking around the house until the police knocked at the door later that day and things escalated fast as they believed he killed Heather. The police eventually arrested and convicted the former roommate Richie for the murder who ended up with a life sentence as well as his father who helped with the attack. The police received a lot of blame for taking so long to help Ryan as the eight hours before they took Ryan's injuries seriously could have helped extend his life and quality of life significantly as there was a lot of internal bleeding and damage happening during that time period that a doctor could have helped with. After an internal investigation nobody from the police received any punishment and Ryan's family declined to sue the police as their only concern was getting their son back. Sadly, Ryan suffered seizures from his injuries and unfortunately died 10 years later at the young age of 28. That concludes this incredibly sad true story of Ryan and Heather. Let me know what you think about his case and the actions of the police below and like and subscribe for more shocking true crime stories just like this one.